TIFU tattooing my family heritage. TIFU didn't happen today. But over time growing up in the 90s my family was really proud of our Native American heritage. My grandfather would give every kid in my generation the spirit animal nickname I was Black Bear. My sister was Swift Fox. There was also Dancing Pony, Dreamcatcher, Sharp Eagle, etc. We were taught how to respect nature and every summer would go camping as a family and he would teach us how to forage, start fires from scratch, fish, canoe, and a bunch of other Boy Scout survival skills that he veiled in native imagery. As an 18-year-old, I got every family member's animal item tattooed on my leg to be a full leg sleeve. This includes dream catchers, totem poles, and a slew of animals. It's all very well done. But it's very heavy-handed on the Native American imagery. Fast forward a few years. And my wife then fiancé got me an ancestry test turns out. I have 0% Native American lineage. My grandfather up until his passing was in denial about it which means I'm either adopted or he wouldn't accept the news. My guess is the latter. My tattoos still have meaning to me. As they represent my family and the time we spent together. However the whole idea of it all is extremely embarrassing and cringy and makes for a funny story. TLDR got a leg sleeve of Native American imagery for my family. Took a DNA test and found out I am zero native. Edit thanks everyone for the kind words and perspective. Definitely not ashamed of it if I was I wouldn't share it here but find it funny. I'm going to do my best to go track my genealogy and lineage and see if I can find the connection. X200B Edit two photos for the curious under this comment. Whatever your ancestry is, those tattoos still have personal meaning to you they honor how you were raised. And by the sounds of it that isn't a bad thing in this case. Besides, people all over get worse tattoos for worse reasons. Not really a fuck up IMO. DNA ancestry tests aren't infallible. And they're particularly bad for non-European ethnic groups and especially for Native Americans. I wouldn't jump to any conclusions if I were you. I didn't see any other comments mentioning this. But I think a lot of white families used to say that they had Native American lineage. When really there was African American lineage. It was more controversial and probably more legally complicated to admit that you had a black parent or grandparent. Especially before desegregation etc. Source my family's Native American heritage p. Native American culture isn't really a thing. Every tribe is very different. DNA tests don't mean anything to most of us. You have to be able to trace back your ancestry to an enrolled member of a specific tribe. If your grandfather knew his family and where they come from, maybe there's other family that can give you more information. What you're describing is a lot of stereotypes. So if you're truly interested, you should put in more work to find family. Can we? Can we see a picture of them? They sound really cool hands clapping thumbs up. I gotta be honest. It does sound very pop culture-y. Native as a monolith stuff. Dreamcatchers and totem poles are from two very different groups on nearly opposite sides of the continent. But some 60s era pan-Indian movements made them like the go-to iconography and more importantly, souvenirs of natives. I'm Mohawk myself and even in my town there's all kinds of totem pole. Dream catcher. Teepee stuff. None of those were ours. Some of them come from our historical enemies even. I was listening to a science podcast about DNA. 
and they explained that the results are only as accurate as the samples they have from across the world. This means that if no very few Native Americans have taken the same company's test that you took, they have no results to compare you to, and it will come back a very low match. If more confirmed NARS take that particular test, your results can increase. You might want to try a different company or test again in a few years. You could also go convince a bunch of other NA people to test. It is extremely hard to test for Native American ancestry. There was a doc about this a few years back. But I can't remember the name. Basically, they need full blood native lines that go back a few hundred years in order to isolate their genomes. It I very hard to find people that are 100 from one tribe and their parents were not of other tribes or European descent. When I did a DNA test, I got less than one native ancestry. My grandfather grew up on a reservation. I have all his government information and papers. My aunt traced the family back generations in this tribal area. The Museum of American Indians had an exhibit about Virginia tribes a few years ago and my grandfather's family photo was on the dam wall. 23 me be damned. I'm just parroting everyone else here. But those tests are inaccurate for non-European lineage. Tracing actual papers and ancestry is a much better way of figuring out that information. TBH does it matter? If he was respectful and took it seriously. It kinda is what you inherited. I'm native it's visually telling in my family but due to all the adoption death sickness. Orphanages. We have no idea what tribe or anything. We just know my great grandma was half. Died at like 22 from an allergic reaction to penicillin and all the kids were shipped to an orphanage. But like. I was told less than you we were told to love nature. Have dream catchers. The soft leather shoes. And. That's it lol. So there's no telling and I think it's pretty rad your family bonded that way. My tattoos still have meaning to me. As they represent my family and the time we spent together. However the whole idea of it all is extremely embarrassing and cringy and makes for a funny story. It meant one thing. You gained knowledge and now it means something else. This happens for a lot of people with their tattoos. Myself included. I would not worry about it so much. You'll be fine. Okay same thing here haha. Ha. Was always told we had a significant amount of Native American and then absolutely zero on ancestry. Test someone once told me they don't include Native American in those. Which I don't really believe. But I pretend it's true sometimes to make myself feels better lol. Re just another member of the Cherokee princess myth. I'd gone to dozen of powwows when I was a kid. Learned a ton about Cherokee history. Etc. When my mom finally picked up genealogy. She discovered zero Cherokee ancestry in our family. Then she found that there was zero Cherokee ancestry in multiple other families that claimed it too. It was. And still is. A really common myth told in the South. If it helps. I have proof of my Native American heritage though I couldn't look further from it via death and. Birth certificates and am registered with the tribe and all. But my ancestry shows none of that. So it's likely you are but as mentioned. It's not part of the test so I wouldn't worry and be proud of your own immediate family heritage. Either way. The tattoo sounds beautiful. May we see. My grandmother had the same issue. Legit thought we had some native ancestry but it was completely false. I think it was just a big thing in the 80s and 90s to claim some sort of indigenous heritage. No regets. Musical note I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100 not that bitch musical notes.